Hi everyone, today in this video we will install Kali Linux VM in our virtual box. So let's get started. So in order to do that, first of all open one of your browser, search for Kali.org and click download. So in this video we will install using OVF packages and as well as ISO image disk file. So first of all, if you click virtual machine, so it will bring you to this particular area of the page. So in order to download the OVF package for virtual box, click this and the OVF file will start downloading. And to install the ISO file, we need to click bare metal and we will install 64-bit installer so click installer and the ISO file will be started downloading so we will start with the OVU package first of all once this download is complete and following to that we will install um, Kali Linux using the ISO file as well so depending on your internet speed these downloads are going to take some time so let's wait for them to finish Once the download is complete, open VirtualBox and click File. Go to Import Appliance and choose the OVF file. It's in Download and open it. Click Next. And we can see that all necessary setups are already added there. So if we want, we can change them. So let's give the RAM size to 4 GB. And rest of them I will keep as default. So click import, agree with the terms. So the setup has been completed when we can click start to start our Kali VM. So by default, the username and password for the OB file is Kali. So we will give the username and password. Click enter. And our machine has been started. This is how you install Kali Linux from the OB file. So now let's check how we install from the ISO file. So first of all, you click new and you give your VM a name. So let's give it Kali and we will select the type is Linux and the version of our machine will be Debian 64. Click next. So the recommended memory size is 2 GB. However, I will give it 4 GB of RAM. Click Next. Click Create. We are going to set up our VM from our ISO disk file image. So click Next. Click Next. So now we will give it hard disk size. I will give it 80 GB. So before I add the ISO file, I would like to make some changes in the setup. So click setting. So first of all, go to advanced and change this two to bi-directional so that we can drag and drop our important files from the host and the Kali machines. And in the system, I would like to give it two processors and to bootload i would like to bring hard disk to the top and optical to the second and this is recommended by the documentation um, you can have a look from kali.org as well for the acceleration
for the display um video memory i will make it to the maximum so now we have to select our iso file and it's in our download folder so click add and select our kali linux iso file open and choose the iso file and for our audio and network i will keep it as default for now so let's click ok and to start running the kali vm we need to click start Click enters to start the installation. Choose your language. Continue. So I will give the host name as the post copy. Click continue. And let's use the domain name Kali.org. Click enter. Now we need to give the username. I will keep it Kali as well. So now we need to give the password for our VM. Continue. Click continue and we will do partition for all the files in one partition as is recommended for new users. So click continue and finish partitioning and write changes to these. So click yes to make the changes to the disk. So we will install all the default software. So click continue. And if we need to install any extra software that um, we need for our work, so we can do it when the installation is done. So click yes to install the GRUB bootloader or click enter and click the gear up bootloader click continue so now the installation is finished and we can click continue to reboot our system So now we give our username and password that we set up during installation. Click enter to login. And we have successfully installed our Kali Linux VM into our virtual box. So thanks for watching and if you like this video please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel.